Welcome back to Life's Little Adventures. If you like the, this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. I'm coming to you live from Great Pond Outdoor Adventure Center. And um, it's a really cute campground. It has yurts, tenting options, cabins, and you can bring your own personal camper if you'd like. So I've taken a couple of pictures of the prices of this facility. I hope that helps. Um, I went into the bathrooms. They're really clean. It's a well-kept little campground. It's open all year long for people. If you want to go into their cabins, you are more than welcome to do that. All throughout the year, they have activities. So they really accommodate um, all year long, and it's a great place to bring kids. Um, the only downfall is no Wi-Fi. But that's okay. You can live without Wi-Fi for a little bit. You can get it at the main house if you walk up and go into it. So, again, um, I've taken a few videos of the area. I hope you enjoy it. Hit the like and subscribe button if you do. I'd appreciate it. And I look forward to making more videos of our little adventures in Maine. Thank you, and have a great day. Hello, and welcome to Great Pond Outdoor Adventure Center. The Navy Gateway, Getaway, sorry, an MWR, campground and cabins. Here's the common area pavilion where you can have family get-togethers, friends, birthday parties, whatever you want. There's a gas grill on there. They have a really nice playground for kids right here and they have ping pong table over there and there's the cornhole and the horseshoe pits I think they just redid the cornholes because now they're concrete last year they were wood so but it's a beautiful area Here is the main house where you check in and get all your information. Inside has um, ping pong, um, crafts they have for the kids to do. It's really set up well for families. So the pontoon boat, they offer boat rides on that out around the lake. Um, they used to have a little powered boat, but because of the gas prices this year, they chose not to. I don't know if they're going to continue next year or not. So stay tuned for that. They have a beautiful beach area. The bridge over there, I don't know if you can see it in the distance, that leads over to the campsites if you didn't want to drive around. Over here is the bike barn where they have bikes that you can rent throughout the weekend if you would like. And I'm going to pan over here and they have kayaks, canoes, paddle boards that you can also rent for the day. And at the end of the video I will have those prices and the prices of the campground. They also have picnic tables. And there's the water. Miss Pat and Charlie. This is our campsite. Right up here, number 14. It's quite large. I wasn't able to video any of the yurts or tiny house because there are people staying in them and I just didn't feel comfortable doing that. But this is our site, site 14, right on the water. So here's our campsite from the inside looking out, number 14. This is our view. 
There's this little path down there to get to the water. It's a nice campsite. I think it's the best one in the campground. <laughs> 